Founded 10 years ago to promote Hindu philosophy in the U.S., the Hindu American Foundation, or HAF, has made enormous strides since its inception. You know, in the beginning, people didn't even know who the Hindu American community was. They didn't know what a Hindu American was. We went to Washington, D.C., and we were told by sitting congressmen, uh, or we were asked by them if we were Sunni or Shiite. Uh, so that showed the depth of misunderstanding and uh, stereotypes about the community and really lack of awareness and really been able to change that to the point where now people come to us. People ask us as a go-to Hindu American voice on the Hill and in the nation about issues that are affecting us here domestically in America and also internationally throughout the world. HAF's impact was on display at their 10th anniversary awareness gala sponsored by Thea TV where San Jose City Councilman Ash Kalra served as MC. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the 10th anniversary of the Hindu American Foundation. We have Congresswoman uh, Gabbard here. I mean, this is really a special night to recognize a very special organization. Dozens of dignitaries, including three members of Congress, joined hundreds of Hindu Americans to celebrate the past decade. America's first ever Hindu Congress member, Tulsi Gabbard, gave the keynote address, speaking about how she applies the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita. And I'd just like to share with you a quote from the Gita that I turn to many, many times in chapter 2 that says, The soul can never be cut to pieces by any weapon, nor burned by fire, nor moistened by water, nor withered by the wind. This individual soul is unbreakable and insoluble and can neither be burned nor dried. He is everlasting, present everywhere, unchangeable, immovable, and eternally the same. You can imagine in a context where on a daily basis we saw loss of life, we saw injuries, and the context that we share now here today in beautiful California, in the context of what's happening around the world, how we can take this conversation a few layers deeper and put it into the context of who we are truly and how we must, must, must work together to find solutions to the problems that we face both here in our communities, across the country, and around the world. Establishing relationships with local, state, and federal leaders has been a hallmark of HAF's mission. So it was a source of great pride when the state of California passed SCR 32 this summer, a resolution recognizing October 2013 as Hindu Awareness and Appreciation Month across the state. This is the first time a resolution celebrating Hindu Awareness and Appreciation Month has passed any legislative chambers in the entire U.S. HF worked closely with State Senate Majority Leader Ellen Corbett to pass the resolution. She received a Friend of the Community Award at the gala. We are honored today to present Senator Corbett with the Hindu American Foundation's Friend of the Community Award. So many people came to our country from other countries because they have faced persecution. And that's what America's about. So to be able to be part of that, to be able to recognize that, is just such a truly special American value. And I just feel privileged to be part of it. There isn't anything that half believes in, in their mission, that's contrary to anything that I believe in. And so it, it, it's a perfect fit, hand in glove. And I belong to Japanese American Citizens League. I work with uh, organization Chinese Americans. I work with double, NAACP. I work with GI Forum and the other Latino groups. Uh, Hoff has taken his place with the other civil rights groups. I rise today to honor and recognize the great work of the Hindu American Foundation. Congressman Eric Swalwell, who recently spoke about the foundation on the House floor, says HAF's efforts are being acknowledged in Washington. My colleagues are coming on board. We saw with uh, the FBI hate crimes letter that uh, you know people are understanding that these are important issues. We saw uh, with the Diwali stamp that uh, support uh, is growing beyond just those uh, in the community or who have diverse districts, but even people who uh, don't have many Hindus in their district, they understand that it's a growing community across America. Beyond the mission of promoting human dignity, mutual respect and pluralism, HAF co-founder Mahir Magani says their biggest accomplishment has been to mobilize professionals from around the nation to work for this common cause. I'm really proud of the people that we've drawn into the group. 
They are very honest, sincere, hardworking, dedicated people who work together. We're able to make the organization rewarding for people. It hasn't become a bureaucracy or something boring. It's become a very dynamic group where people feel empowered to make change.